I'm now going to show you a quick example of how to use folders. Uh, this is a new feature in C Electrical V8 R1. And I'm going to start by creating a new project. And I'm going to call it Folders. And I'm going to use one of the default templates. I'm going to use consecutive code numbers. Click OK. Now by default these templates don't enable folders. So this feature is available from the standard and advanced versions, but not for the basic. So I'm going to right click on the project, go to Properties, and I'm going to enable Use Functional Location Management. Whenever I draw a functional location box, I want that to be dashed, so I'm going to click on that as well. I'm going to click on OK. And what it means now is that I can right click, and before I start creating new pages, I can now add a new folder. So I could just call this Spare, put a description in, and click OK. And I can now start adding pages in there, so I can right click and add a new page. Notice that the function location are available but are empty. So I can just start adding pages in there. I can right click and add a new one. And if I right click and create a new page in there, notice that the page numbering again starts at one again. We also have a book number which is a sequential number throughout the project. Now, if I go back a bit, if I create a new folder and I add either an equals or a plus Put a description of panel 1. The equals and plus indicate that when I create the new page, it's going to add that information directly as the function or location. I can nest these so I can right click and add a new folder in there and say that this is plus A for the location. And now if I right click within this folder, choosing new page allows me to fill that information in automatically and I can carry on working from now. Um, if I right click and create a new folder, and actually before I start using installations, if I start with location, then I can afterwards add a new folder and use installations. And now when I create the page, it's also filled in with the correct information it's picked up. Although it's not in the same order, it's still picked up that information and I can carry on working from there. If I change my mind about any of the sequence of these folders, then I can always right click and I can choose sort and I can move these around. So if I want the function to be at the top, I can do that. At any point in the working, I can reset these book numbers, which is the sequential number, by right clicking over the project and reordering the book numbers. And that then puts everything back into order based on how you've actually set these up. So it's a very flexible, very user friendly way of working and allows you to arrange your pages exactly how you want them. Because of these new features, you've also got some new attributes. So on the page, if I just zoom in, draw some text, I'll put in there folder, <coughs> folder description. And book number. So the attributes for these would be, if I put a question mark on there, for the folder, we go down into page, newly named, and we choose folder. That would be the attribute for that one. Let's pop that to the right. For the next one, folder description, and for the last one, book number. So those are the attributes that are now available, which could be used on your title block. As an example, if I select these, right click and choose add to block, click on the title block, file, save as, and if I call it A3V8R1, and now what I can do is go to functions, change the template on all the pages, and just update them so they're using this one. And you'll now see that the information is updated to say what the folder location is, if there's a description on there, and the book number. So you can choose to use those if you need to. So, really nice new feature.